is up peeps it's Lilac here and today we will be reviewing oh no 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 not this franchise why this franchise come on it's a pathetic excuse for a franchise well anyways First, let's start off with more of the North. The first thing you may notice is... Oh, the animation! It looks like it was made with... 100 year old technology! And that environmental message! Bah, don't throw condos in the Arctic! Yeah. I would rather live in a volcano for my entire life then build a condo in the heckin' Arctic. And that's coming from someone like me who's lived their entire life in Minnesota so far. Just why that animation? Why is it so low budget? Oh, makes sense. Wait a minute! It did a profit! You might as well get... had Nintendo publish a game about it! Oh no, they didn't! Oh no, they didn't! This better be fan made! And I heckin' hate those lemmings! Good thing I got a bunch of rat poison! Die, you stupid things! Ugh! And how did this get a theatrical release? It is not suitable for theaters! And why give it sequels that nobody asked for? One of the directors even said that the kids were bored to tears. Why give it a sequel? Nobody likes Norm of the North. Unless you have the IQ of, I'm thinking, these lemmings that are obviously minion cashins. So anyways, Norm of the North 2. How, how does Norm have a son that's already a teenager after only like a year or two? Norm's son? But before I get to that character, I need to explain the plot. So apparently it's one of those cliches where it's like, the, the hero is has been mis has been accused for committing a crime he didn't do. <sighs> Sorry, but unless you're a big name studio like Pixar or something, you can't do that if it's not handled well. And Norm's son, I wonder why he was even. <clears throat> made. He is just the most annoying, spoiled brat. That's obviously a stereotype. What stereotype, you ask? Those royal stereotypes. Every single royal family must act snooty. And oh my gosh, that mayor! Why is he so ugly? He looks like an ugly fusion of Joe Biden and the president from Monsters vs. Aliens. Look, I'm American, like I said before. And that's a little harsh. But we only scratched the surface. We got Norman the North 3. Yeah, the only king size things I like are candy bars. Norm's son is at his worst here. He's just so unlikable. Let me get... I... I... I was born to a family of high-class hunters. And... And hopefully we... We can hunt the spare. Oh, but right. There's this little saint. If the bear is white, then... 
Good night! And it's one of those... Another stereotype. Bah! China is a happy place! No, it's not! Why can't people know the truth? Can't pigs learn that... China is... It's a corrupt place with a corrupt ruler who can... And ban any cartoon over memes of him. Sweatshops sent and often have child labor. And to top it all off, no foreign cartoons allowed. They show ripoffs. This is my kingdom. This is my kingdom. And now the worst of them all, the most recent sequel of all, Norma the North Family Vacation! Blah! What is this? What are these? Are they bears or rabbits? Why do they keep getting more children? Why are the lemmings ninjas? That just makes them more annoying. And the plot is the stupidest thing since... It's the stupidest thing since the rest of the movies. The Norma... Norm has lost his crown, and he has to go on a family road trip. That is stupid! How do you lose your crown? I thought you were king. You're supposed to be a very responsible adult. Ugh. And as I said in my review of Food Fight, there is a this Norm of the North in development! Heck, I even made my own poster! Norm of the North 5! Die, you stupid bear! Ugh, my throat! My well being is wrecked by this movie franchise! It's starting to become very. Similar to Alpha and Omega. Anyway, see you soon. My next review is gonna be Rock Dog. It's more decent, even though it's from Lionsgate. And yes, our view it's less, it's more indecent sequel that nobody, not even me, asked for. <laughs>